Look, there's Joseph of Arimathea, one of the leading Pharisees in Jerusalem. Which of you, for all his worrying, can add one day to his life? One inch to his stature. So don't concern yourself so much with the means of life. What you shall eat and drink. Or with your bodies. And how they should be clothed. Life is more than clothing. Consider the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or gather into barns, but our Heavenly Father feeds them. Will he not all the more feed you? Are you not worth more than they? Consider the lilies of the field. They do not spin. They do not weave. But not even Solomon in all his glory was so arrayed as one of these. Now, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow thrown into the fire, will he not all the more clothe you, who have so little faith? Therefore, do not ask, what shall we eat? What shall we drink? How shall we dress ourselves? It is only the faithless who set their hearts on these things. You must first seek the kingdom of God and its righteousness and everything will be added freely unto you. So do not be anxious about tomorrow. Tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's own trouble be sufficient for the day. <laughs> Extraordinary. But isn't that taking it too far? Huh? Well, surely our religion isn't opposed to honest, hard work. Much of what he says has been said by the prophets, but not like this. I agree with him. But we can't be sure until we meet with him face to face. Why not invite him to eat with us? Hmm. Would he come? I'm sure he would. Such a man must be willing to discuss his ideas with people who are open-minded. 